What is up guys, today I am bringing you episode 6 of my Random League Selector series and as you can see on the screen, Serie B, Serie A B, however you want to pronounce it, has been turned green which means that is the league that we are focusing on this episode. And uh, this team's got pretty good players in it, it's a pretty sweaty team too and just generally enjoyed using this team. So let's swing over into the squad builder. Right guys, moving on into the squad builder part of this episode. And as you can see on the screen, I do have a 41212 fully silver Serie B side. This team did cost me around 30,000 coins, but that was just due to some of the players being a bit more expensive in this formation. And guys, I'm going to change up the way that I do this squad builder from now on. So as you can see, I do have the team lined up already. And I'm just going to go over each of the players and give you my opinion and some of their standout stats for their card. So let's get started in the goalkeeper position. And we do have Lealey, 75 diving, 70 handling and uh, 80 reflex which are pretty decent stats for this guy he is six foot three as well so a pretty tall figure in the net and all in all I didn't concede many goals and he was a solid keeper for this team and moving over to start off the defensive line at left back we do have De Prella. I believe that's how you pronounce it I'm not quite sure but 85 pays 66 defending 66 heading and 68 dribbling and 65 passing all being this guy's standout stats apart from his shooting being at 50 this guy was extremely cheap 350 coins and especially you definitely get your value for money because he is a class class player to have a left back for this team and to the right hand side we do have the first centre back for the team and we do have Thiago Cianek, I believe that's how you pronounce it, 76 pace, 6, 68 defending and 64 heading being this guy's main stats. Not the best of heading stats overall but generally done a decent job at the back for me. So moving over to the right hand side again we do have the second centre back which is De Mayo, 71 pace, 73 defending and 75 heading. This guy is also 6 foot 3 so he's a tall figure to have in your centre back line and uh, all in all was a class player for me especially 73 defending and 75 heading really standing out and helping me when defending. So moving over to the right hand side again and we do have the last of the defensive line at right back and we do have Lavarone, 83 pace being mainly his only standout stat. The rest of his stats are pretty average all around the 60 area. But this guy was extremely cheap as well, 750 coins paid and was a decent right back for the team. And let's get up the pitch to the CDM and we do have Nwanko, I believe that's how you pronounce it. 74 pace, 68 defending and 70 heading for this guy being his standout stats. And overall sat back and helped out the defensive line very well and covered me when I was suffering from counter attacks. And moving over to the left mid for the team, we do have Rivas, 93 pace, absolutely lightning pace down the wings, 79 dribbling being his standout stats, his pace and his dribbling, all in all a fantastic player to have. He does have 4 star weak foot, unfortunately he doesn't have 4 star skills which I like to have on my left mids and right mids, but he did score 2 goals in the 5 games that I played online. I did also play a couple of my friends uh, whilst I was using this team as well. So all in all a class left mid to have, especially highlight being his pace as he was getting around defenders very easily. Right guys, moving on to the right mid for the team. We do have Udamadi, I believe that's how you pronounce it. I do have three Nigerian players in this team and they do have extremely difficult names to pronounce. I'm probably absolutely butchering them guys, but sorry about that. But 94 pace and 75 dribbling being this guy's standout stats. And then once again, 94 pace, absolutely blistering pace down the wings and helped out when attacking quite a lot. Unfortunately, he doesn't have four star weak foot or four star skill moves, just three stars on each. He did score one goal in the five games that I did play online and was just a help with the massive pace. So moving on to the centre attack in mid for the team, we do have Jorginho, and when I saw this guy, I thought like, with a name like that, I thought he'd be absolutely amazing. But 84 pace, 70 passing, and 77 dribbling, being this guy's standout stats. But all in all, oh, I did think he'd be a beast, just because he had a crazy name like Jorginho, but he doesn't have 4 star skills or a 4 star weak foot either. He didn't manage to score any goals in my online games, but all in all was a great supplier for the top men up front. And all in all, a solid player to have at camp. So let's get started with the first striker for the team on the left-hand side. And we do have Umbakagu, I believe that's how you pronounce it. But 90 pace and 72 heading being this guy's standout stats. Pretty poor shooting stats, but I disagree with those. In-game, he does have an absolutely thunderous strike, as I did score quite, uh, quite a few nice goals with him. And was all in all a great striker to have, especially with the 90 pace. 
And then moving over to the last player and the last striker for the team. And we do have Gonzalez. 86 pace, 70 shooting, 70 dribbling and 70 heading being this guy's standout stats. He did score 4 in the 5 games that I did play online. And was all in all a solid, solid striker to have paired with Embakagu. Due to Embakagu being the more fast paced player. Just to link up with him and then knock through balls over between... Uh, between Gonzalez and Embakagu was great, and all in all, a great front pairing to have. Embakagu did also score three goals in the games that I played online. So, guys, this is the team. I hope you go out and try this team because I had so much fun playing with it in the silver tournaments. It is a great team and also can be a bit sweaty with the pace at times, but all in all, a great team to use. So, guys, if you did enjoy this video, then make sure to leave a like. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you could follow me on Twitter as well, that would be great. It is in the description of this video. You can also like my Facebook page, although I don't use it quite much. And uh, all in all, I will see you guys next time. Peace. Me back, but still.